pasture. <laughs> you know, give us some water. Yeah, desperate for water as Utah's boating season heats up here. Some hope owners are hoping their recreation plans do not bottom out. Drought and water are growing concerns in Utah, affecting our drinking water and places many of us like to play. Yeah, Jordan L State Park is a popular spot. New specialist Alex Cabrera was there today and says the park's getting busy for a, ready for a busy weekend. The boat launch is open, but Alex, you say people will notice the impact of the drought right away. It's enough to lull you to sleep, even relax you after a tough day. It's peaceful. But as winter starts turning to waves at Jordanelle State Park, Danny Aguiar knows it's about time for the busy season. And I wanted to check and see if all the ice was gone so I could get my boat on the water. Boating is a big deal at the reservoir, which is why workers were busy today getting ready for what could be a warm weekend. It's the end of our quiet time. So, but and, that, and yes, it's a good thing. But for as exciting as it might be to see crowds again, Jordanelle's Natalie Harmon is also seeing something she'd rather not see. The water level, yes, the drought, that we're, we're nervous. That ring of dirt around Jordanelle continues to get bigger. Right now, the reservoir is about half full or half empty, depending on how you view things. But the view of landlocked docks and buoys is hard to ignore. 15 years, I have not seen it this low. In fact, water levels are so low, people who normally come out here to Jordanelle and who might know the park well, they're going to see some things that maybe they've never seen before. First time I've seen it. <laughs> She's talking about this piece of land and other points across the reservoir that are normally underwater. Boaters who have been here before will notice them right away because of the drought. I think it's terrible. Even still, boaters like Aguiar can't wait to get back on the water. Sometimes I go by myself. Sometimes I'll have a few friends with me. No doubt those conversations with friends will include how low the water is at Jordanelle and all across Utah. At Jordanelle State Park, Alex Cabrero. Pray for rain. <laughs> KSL 5 News.